Check it out, folks. If you guys didn't know by now, Pat Neely and myself, we started a brand new channel called the Grilling TV Network. Go by, check it out, subscribe, and enjoy this video. Take a look at this right here, folks. You want to learn how to make a Creole dirty rice? Then stay tuned, folks. I got the answer for you. Hey, look, so you guys can see it's not a whole lot of ingredients, right? Just notice how I got down on my cuts. And this right here won't even tell you what it is. But look, I just already went ahead and ribbed up my, you know, my celery. Hey, with that being said, listen, the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. All right, so look, I'm going to go ahead and set my fire. Look, we want to have like a medium heat, right? That's good right there. Once this comes up, then we're first thing we're gonna start with, listen, I'm using an Italian sausage. I love the flavor, all of that. And then, you know what, they got it on, you know, you can get it spicy or you can get it mild. I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below which one did I use. Okay, so look, first thing I want you to notice, I didn't put nothing down, right? This sausage right here is gonna render enough fat for me. You know what I mean? But we wanna have a little fine at the bottom too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to get this, you know, get it like flat, right? We just start right here. Okay, so look, I want you guys to come and take a look down here in this, in my little paint, my pan, right? Notice I went in and changed, you know, my tool, right? I got this right here. This is like plastic or neoprene. Look, it doesn't scratch anything. You can use this to just do it like this. And then if I move it back, you see that right there? That's the fine. I got, we gonna do something with that too, but don't trip. I got y'all. Now, we're going to cook this down just till we get a little bit. We don't want to see no more pink, right? If it's cooking too fast, just go ahead and adjust it because my medium is, I done seen other people when I'm at their pad or when they doing something and I tell them medium, I look at their medium and it's way different than my medium. You know what I mean? So we just don't want to cook too fast. You know what I mean? But we don't want to see no meat, no pink either. Now, while we cooking down, you know, our sausage, right? Now, you saw the way I went ahead and and dice these down. I mean, you know, slice this, right? You gotta do it however, but if you do it in the same order as me, you utilize this time to do what? That's right, we're gonna multitask. Check it out, we pretty much, you know, down to where we need to be. Now look, I'm gonna bring my W sauce and we're gonna use that to like deglaze, right? Anything that's stuck on the bottom. If you guys come in here, take a look right here. I don't like you saying that because it, it, it sounds worse than what it is, but that's the fine, that's our flavor, right? So I'm gonna just go ahead and add that W sauce. Let that start to get, you know, warm. And then you look, square edge. Now look, look at that right there, it's gone. Now you know how we gonna build these up with like a lot, a lot of flavor, right? That's a must. Okay, so another thing too, I like for that to like marinate a little bit, you know, like to cook that in inside of our, you know, our sausage, right? Now, check this part out. Now we're getting ready to come with our veggies. Look at that color. You know what I mean? Ooh wee. Just gonna do it, folks. For those of you guys who have been following me, you know what I mean? And know how I normally get down, especially when I do the Trinity. I always start with my onions, you know what I mean? And I do that and I start with them first, right? To give them a head start. I think I'm the only one that really do that, right? But this time I went ahead and diced every, my bell peppers and celery, you know, like super small because I'm doing that for the flavor, right? Now I'm gonna come just the opposite of the way I normally do. You know what I mean? And now I'm gonna introduce, you know, my onion. Now by the time my onions get to where I want like, then everything else will be, you know, right where it's supposed to be. Right? Don't forget, we're still under that medium flame. It's just best that you, you know, let all of this marry together. And you want to get it like, you know, like, uh, I'm trying to think of the word. You want to get it mixed, you know, properly, right? One thing about the white, the green, and the red, you can see it. So you can see what needs to be moved around. And then we want to get it under that heat. We want to sweat some of that, right? I can tell you right now though, I can put some scrambled egg in this right now and then roll this up in the burrito and this would be fire without the rice. And then you can only imagine if we put the rice in there. Now, come here and take a look at this. Look how big these cloves is. This is what I'm talking about. Look, you can't never have too much garlic. I don't know, they got a restaurant down there in uh, Beverly Hills called the Stinking Rose. You guys look at that, Beverly Hills, California, check it out. I used to run there a lot. Oh uh, yeah. 
And I'm gonna put this on top because I want to go ahead, you know, and stir this so we don't get no burn, right? And then we don't worry about whatever else was left in there that didn't get pressed. You know why? Because we finna press that through. Everybody smile right along with me. Oh yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna give it a couple of little pinches of, you know, kosher salt. And then I'm finna go to town, you know what I mean? With my black pepper. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but anytime black pepper gets any type of heat, especially when you put it in the smoker, it takes on a whole nother flavor. You know what I mean? A lot of people out here, they being shy with it, you know, feeling like, oh, it's gonna be hot or something like that, black pepper. Listen, this right here is just to enhance just as much and add flavor as salt does, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and give this a mix. And don't forget folks, we taste as we go. Now all of this is really cooked. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our rice. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just make a little valley right here. You see that? This is unnecessary. I'm showing out folks. We just add something like this, just add it around like that. And what we want to do is, we want that rice to seal up with this little flavor before we add our stock, right? Now this is where, once I get to the part where I add my chicken broth or stock, <clears throat> you gotta remember this. You wanna go Cajun way or you can go the Creole way. I'm going Creole. You've been following me for a minute, you know how I get down. Creole kick, you know I'm one with it. You know what I mean? So that's the flavor profile we gonna go with. So after about, you know, a couple of minutes, right? Now we go ahead and add our stock. You know what I mean? Then I rub my square edge across the bottom just in case anything got stuck on the bottom, but that's okay. Now what we want to do is we just wait a second. As soon as it comes up to a boil, I'm gonna go ahead and add my Creole kick. Hey, and just because I told you I would, check it out. Oshana, this goes out to you. You gotta try this one. All right, so now look, I'm gonna go ahead and add my Creole kick. I gotta back up some. You know what I mean? Because this right here is potent, folks. Look, I feel like Dr. Frankenstein. When you add that, that adds all that flavor, flavor and it comes to life. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to give it a whirl. You know what I mean? Try to keep it all in the pot, you know, in my pan. Oh, my goodness. Now, look, we're going to cover this, right? When we cover it, we're going to let it simmer for about 25 minutes. You know what I mean? But we're going to monitor it. I guess in about 15 minutes, I'm going to take a look at it. Take this square edge, run it across the bottom, and go from there. And then don't forget, the only thing you should have left is them bay leaves. Boom. Okay, folks, I'm going to go ahead and look at this. Now, before I pull this off the top, I did look at it at about 15 minutes. Ran my square edge around the bottom, make sure nothing was sticking. And then check it out right there. That's it. You know what I mean? Now. Oh, you can see the bay leaf. I'm gonna go ahead and take the bay leaf off right now. I don't know about y'all, but sometimes I take the bay leaf. I don't know, y'all can let me know if y'all do this. Sometimes I'll just clean it up like that and put this in my mouth like it's a lollipop. Hey, but I ain't gonna go ahead and do that. So what I'm gonna do is now just give it a little fluff, let it get some air, right? We're gonna lose a lot of that moisture, let it dry out. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that right there. Get rid of that little gumminess. I'm gonna leave this alone, we're gonna come back. Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with a little garnish and give me some pictures while we wait. All right, folks, look, I done let it, look, I, I don't know what else to say. Y'all just seen it, you know, moving around in slow motion. You see that right there? Look, it's not gummy. The key thing is, you know, you want to take the top off, let it get some air, and then you just fluff it up, right? This right here, if this ain't dirty rice, I don't know what is. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and, like, over talk this or nothing like that. I'm finna dig in here. I done already sampled a little bit of this, but I'm going to go ahead and do it for the, you know, for the video camera. Check it out, folks. Cheers. That Italian sauces, it's everything. Now, I want you guys to tell me what you think about this right here. You seen it, you didn't see me hit it. I don't know if you can see the reaction on my face. This right here is always fire. Now, I got a question to ask you guys. Is this a standalone meal or are you using this like as a side dish? I'm gonna tell you how I do it. I usually have dirty rice, some fried shrimp, you know what I mean? And that right there just does it for me. Oh, and don't forget that law, that tall, you know, ice cold glass of that grape Kool-Aid. Now, with that being said, I want you guys to talk to me down in the comment section below and tell me what you think. Are you guys gonna go Creole or are you gonna go Cajun? 
Now, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know what? I'm gonna do something a little different this time. I want y'all to come on in and look at this right here. You see this right here? That's that dirty rice, folks. I'm out. Peace.